Yes, good morning, students. Hemant? Hemant? Hello, sir. Ah, our voice is audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Can okay, start sir. the class? Okay, sir. Okay. Only 45 members are came up to now. I'm waiting, that's why. So, 15, rule number 15. Excuse me. Ah, 15. Tell me. Sir, tech talk video, sir. Pakka, she Saturday will submit to you, sir. We need to change the program. Sir, extension card, okay. sir. So, good morning, students. So, in previous class, we discussed about the types of polymerization. The types of polymerization are three types uh, that are uh, addition polymerization, condensation polymerization, and co polymerization. And uh, addition means exact multiple version molecule is called as addition polymerization. In the addition polymerization, Double bonds are converting into single bonds without elimination of any small molecule. The example for uh, condensation polymerization is polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride, polypropylene, polystyrene, polyacrylonitrile. Yes. Etc. Now, 
The condensed polymerization means uh, the monomers contain the simple polar groups uh, with elimination of small molecule takes place and strong covalent bonds are present. The three dimensional cross links are present in the uh, formation of uh, condensed uh, polymerization. So, this example for condensed polymerization is uh, nylon 6, nylon 6, 6, bakelite, novalac, and uh, urea formaldehyde, PET, etc. A copolymer means uh, that is uh, different monomers combined from a large molecular gain molecule. Oh, so that is the <coughs> copolymer. So, in the example for copolymer is vinyl rubber or polyvinyl uh, covenal chloride or polyethylene covenal chloride polymer, etc. That all are the uh, addition, condensation, and copolymers. Next, coming to the next topic, that is plastics. Uh, plastic is the plastic is a material which shows the property of plasticity. And uh, under the modeling process, that can be easily shaped into different different shapes uh, uh, by the application of a temperature and pressure. The, by the applications of temperature and pressure, uh, we are getting the plastics. So the plastics having the properties like uh, uh, resistance to sunlight, moisture, acid, alkali, low specific gravity, and low thermal and uh, it having the good thermal and electrical uh, insulating properties, etc. And uh, these applications of this one is these are mainly we are used in the uh, uh, plastics are mugs, uh, buckets, uh, and uh, baby feeding board. Uh, feeding uh, bottles uh, and uh, <clears throat> switches, electrical switches and pressure cooker handles. Uh, these all are the plastics. So that are particular plastic that are prepared by particular polymer compounds like suppose mugs are there, mugs uh, and uh, ore tanks are there na, that are prepared by uh, polyethylene, low density polyethylene, high density polyethylene and also maybe feeding uh, bottles that are there. Na. Polycarbonates uh, uh, and uh, pressure core handles are bakelites, uh, switches also, electrical switches that are uh, bakelite uh, and poly, uh, which are uh, uh, long, uh, long necked jars are uh, for storage of uh, cold drinks uh, like uh, juices or uh, beers, etc. We are using the polyethylene terephthalates. So, these are the introduction to the plastics. So, these plastics are mainly classified into two types. The plastics are classified into two types that are thermoplastics and thermosettings. Thermoplastic and so thermoplastics and thermosetting. So what is a thermoplastics? Thermoplastics means uh, under heating, soften, cooling, harden. Heating, uh, soften and cooling and harden. And here in this uh, uh, thermoplastics, uh, thermoplastics, uh, long chain hydrocarbons are present like this, long chain hydrocarbons are present. So when long chain hydrocarbons are present in between the carbon to carbon, weak van der Waals are present, weak van der Waals are present. Uh, so that's why this easily soften and uh, when cooling harden. So these are uh, uh, scrap of metal are reused uh, in thermoplastics uh, and uh, these uh, thermoplastics are remolded. These uh, thermoplastics are prepared by addition polymerization. Addition polymerization. The best example for that one is polyethylene, polyvinyl chloride, polystyrene, polyacrylonitrile, polymethyl methacrylate, etc. These all are about the thermoplastics. These are thermoplastics. Now coming to thermo settings, uh, thermo settings in uh, thermo set, these are prepared by condensation, condensation polymerization, condensation polymerization. So in this, uh, in between the carbon to carbon, three dimensional cross links are present, three dimensional cross links are present like this. Three dimensional cross links are present. Now, when three dimensional crossings are present in between the carbon to carbon, strong covalent bonds are present. Strong covalent bond is present, uh, then we can't break easily. We can't break easily. In the molding process, that we after molding, uh, molding process, that become hardened only. That can't be softened. When we are given the temperature or pressure, we can't be softened. So these uh, these are not reused. These are not reused and are not remolded. And these are chemical, highly chemical resistance. Uh, I highly chemical resistance. Uh, the example that one is uh, nylon 66, nylon 6, uh, comma, nylon 66, nylon 6, comma, 6, uh, bakelite, uh, and uh, urea formaldehyde, urea formaldehyde, and uh, 
poly polyethylene terephthalates these all are the example for the uh, thermosetting resins so now about uh, what is the difference between the thermoplastic and thermosetting anyone anyone can uh, respond to yourself anyone please raise your hand or uh, unmute yourself anyone can respond archana archana is there ananya gaurang yes sir sir yesterday only you told the differences no sir why you are uh, that much of uh, disturbance is there gaurang as i don't know sir some for you only or uh, from your for me side? sir for me for me yes okay ah uh, ananya yes sir ah uh, what is the difference between the thermoplastics and thermosettings give any three or four uh, differences are you understood uh, or not are you yes, understood sir. understood yes sir now right tell me make it first uh, thermoplastic uh, the they are additional polymers very good thermoplastics are addition polymers thermosetting is condensation polymers very good mm. thermoplastic they are soft when heated and hard when cool hard uh, ah very good right 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 ah thermosetting ah thermosetting after molding harden only okay ah one more example uh, uh, different sir thermoplastics mm. can be uh, molded mm. remolded very good nice mm. uh, these cannot be remolded thermosetting the, the scrap waste can be used in thermoplastics very nice good very good very good nice and this, uh, scrap, scrap cannot be used in Not thermosetting very good very good give any examples <sighs> examples of uh, thermo uh, mm. uh, thermoplastics are uh, Mm. Oh, no, no. Thermo settings are nylon. Mm, nylon, nylon six six. Mm, tell me. Thermo plastic, I don't remember. Thermo plastic, sir. Uh, here is then a polyethylene. Poly polyvinyl. Ah, uh, uh, polyvinyl chloride. Polyvinyl chloride, polystyrene, polymethyl methacrylate. Very good. Nice. Good. Very good. Very good. I think maximum uh, all of you understood this uh, difference between the thermo plastics and thermo settings. Understood or not? Okay, right, right. Uh, good response, right? Very good. Now we we'll discuss about the next one is the compounding of plastics. So compounding of plastics means uh, compounding of plastics means uh, to the in the molding process to the plastic material or in the molding process we are adding the some additives. We are adding some. it is then when we are adding the additives to the to the polymer compound in the molding process that they will show their properties that they will show their properties suppose uh, suppose you see this is the uh, once you see water bottle this is the transparent color s yes, this is the transparent color water bottle is it right or wrong suppose you see our uh, mouse is there so this is in black color s yes, or uh, our uh, id card the tag is there this is in uh, orange color s yes, so when we are adding the additives or compounding of plastic compounding of plastic is nothing but compounding of plastic is a process by which uh, polymer resins resins are mixed uh, with uh, some additives uh, to impact uh, some special properties to the end use product to the end of the use product that is called as compounding of plastics compounding of plastics means uh, that in the molding process in the molding process to the plastics or to the raw material in the molding process to the polymer compound we are adding some additives we are adding some additives so that are called as compounding of plastics so that compounding of plastics having the some principles or reasons for uh, incorporating additives are they help uh, uh, in processing they help in the processing they ensure general uh, survival properties of polymeric uh, materials they confer useful mechanical and uh, load bearing properties so when the principal reasons for the incorporating of uh, compounding of plastics mean 
to uh, useful uh, mechanical properties and load uh, bearing properties and help uh, help in the processing so that purpose we are using the compounding of plastics so the main general features uh, of additives are additive is nothing but compounding of plastics are uh, that are they should be cheap and uh, uh, efficient in their functions so which one so these uh, these compounding of plastics listen carefully the features of uh, compounding of plastics are additives are they should be cheap and efficient uh, in their functions they should be cheap and efficient in their functions and uh, they should be stable under processing of uh, survival conditions they should not uh, impart a uh, taste or order and they should not uh, non toxic uh, for food uh, storage of uh, food story purpose and they should not uh, adversely affect on uh, property uh, properties of polymers so these all are the general uh, features of the additives like uh, compounding of when compounding plastic uh, means in the molding process we are adding some additives then when we are adding the additives that additives show their properties so its mechanical property or electrical property or uh, good thermal properties etc okay and colorants uh, color color property also that will show so that means uh, they should be cheap and uh, efficient in their properties they should be stable under processing and uh, survive condition they should be stable under uh, processing and survive uh, for uh, uh, to non toxic for the food storage of uh, food storage Mm. they should not adverse effect on, pro on properties of the polymers so these all are the general uh, features of the additives now what are the compounding of plastics what are the compounding of plastics so now coming to this compounding of plastics listen students the compounding of plastics are the compounding of plastics are mainly resins plasticizers fillers colorants stabilizers antioxidants fire retardants catalyst or accelerators so these all are the these all are the compounding of plastics so compounding of plastics are resins number one resin plasticizers fillers colorants stabilizers antioxidants fire retardants and uh, catalyst uh, accelerators and one more is one more is lubricant lubricants one more is lubricants Now, what are the resins? What are, what are the plasticizers? Uh, when we are adding the resins, uh, plasticizers, fillers, colorants, uh, what is what is the properties? Uh, how the uh, why we are adding the colorants? What is the uses of colorants? Uh, what are the uses of uh, resins, uh, plasticizers? One by one, we'll discuss now. Okay, the compounding of plastics are resins, plasticizers, fillers, colorants, stabilizers, fire retardants, antioxidants, uh, accelerators, or uh, catalyst, uh, and one more is uh, lubricants. So these all are the Uh, compounding of plastics now uh, let us discuss one by one point okay
See students, compounding of plastics. Compounding of plastics may be defined as mixing of uh, different uh, materials like plasticizers, fillers, of extenders, lubricants, uh, pigments. Uh, to the thermoplastic and thermosetting resins uh, to increase their useful properties like strength, uh, strength uh, and uh, toughness, etc. So, compounding of plastics may be defined as mixing of different materials like uh, that means uh, uh, we are adding the, some additives to the uh, molding in the molding process like uh, that is plasticizers, fillers, lubricants, uh, pigments uh, to the thermoplastic and thermosetting resins to increase their uh, useful properties uh, like strength and toughness. Resins have plasticity or binding property. Resins having the plasticity and binding property but need to uh, need other ingredients uh, to the mixed uh, with them for uh, fabrication into useful shapes. So these ingredients, uh, that means compounding of plastics are, that means additives are number one. Number one, resin. Number two, plasticizers. Number three, fillers. Number four, pigments. Number five, stabilizers. Number uh, six, lubricants and antioxidants. And uh, five, retardants, catalysts, and colorants. So these all are the ingredients. That means additives. Uh, uh, additives uh, that uh, these all these all are added in the compounding of plastics. So that now that is called as compounding of plastics. In the molding process, we are adding some additives. When we are adding the additives, that they will show their properties. That are called as compounding of plastics. So that compounding of plastics are resins, plasticizers, fillers, pigments, stabilizers, lubricant, antioxidants, fire retardants, colorants, and catalysts. So now, first one is the resin. So you see, students, uh, resins. Uh, so these resins are mainly classified into two types. So that are thermoplastics and uh, these resins are classified into two types. Thermoplastics, already we discussed thermoplastics and uh, thermo setting resins. So thermoplastics are, thermoplastics means uh, thermoplastics uh, when uh, heating takes place, uh, uh, when heating takes soften and uh, cool, uh, when we are cooling, harden. So in between the carbon to carbon, uh, weak control force are present. Uh, 
and uh, uh, these uh, thermoplastics are reused for thermosetting under the molding process because after completion of molding that become hardened they can't be softened in between the carbon to carbon three dimensional cross links are present three dimensional cross links are present uh, so we we can't break easily we can't break uh, easily so like this uh, resins are called a thermosetting so in the plastics in the compounding of plastics uh, compounding of plastics uh, thermoplastics are there and thermosettings are there so, so that are called a resins so when we are uh, when the plastics are uh, classified into how many types two types na so that plastics are mainly uh, thermoplastics and thermosetting that uh, thermoplastics means when we are heating takes place soften cooling harden thermosetting and after molding process become harden only so in this weak vulnerable force are present so that's why that we can we can the properties and uh, easily soften in between the carbon to carbon three dimensional cross links are present so that's why that we can't uh, uh, break easily strong covalent bonds are present so this is about the resins this is about the resins the product of polymerization is called as resins the product of polymerization is called resins and in the form of major portion of bodies of plastics it is the binder which uh, which holds the different constituents together thermosetting resins are usually supplied as a linear uh, polymers of uh, uh, comparatively low molecular weights because uh, at this stage they are fusible and hence uh, moldable the conversion of the fusible form uh, into cross linked uh, fusion uh, Infusible uh, forms uh, takes place during the molding itself in presence of catalyst. In presence of catalyst, that means thermoplastics and thermosetting. Now, this is about the resins. So, so resins are mainly uh, two types: thermoplastics and thermosetting. Thermoplastics means uh, heating, soften, cooling, harden, and thermosettings are uh, after molding, harden only. So, in the thermoplastics, in carbon to carbon. Uh, Carbon to carbon, it contains the long chain hydrocarbon atom. Carbon to carbon, weak vulnerable force are present. So that we are, that that are uh, weakened. So now, uh, so which one? Uh, this thermosettings are three dimensional cross links are present. Strong covalent bond is present. Uh, we, we can't break it easily. So that's why uh, that uh, polymers are very strong. So next uh, next uh, compound of plastic is plasticizers. So plasticizers means uh, which show the property a uh, property of plasticity. So that are called as plasticizers. So it is a uh, plus sizes so plus are the high boiling liquids uh, which are uh, spaced between the polymer uh, molecules and uh, hence uh, they improve the softness and the flexibility so these plus sizes are mainly uh, they, uh, they will show the softness and uh, uh, softness and flexibility and decrease the melt viscosity and uh, cold flex temperature of plastics so these uh, plus sizes are these plus sizes are mainly Dioctyl phthalates, tri crystal phosphates. These are the example for plasticizers. So these uh, that will show the softness and uh, uh, flexibility. So that purpose we are adding the plasticizers. Plasticizer substance added to enhance the plasticity of the material and uh, reduce the cracking of the surface. Plasticizers are added to the plastics increase the flexibility and the toughness. So plasticizers also increase the flow uh, property of the plastics. So these are the properties about the plastics. When we are adding the pla uh, plasticizers in the uh, molding process, that uh, the plasticizers are shows their plasticity and increase the flexibility and toughness. And increase the flow property of the plastics. Tricrystal uh, phosphates, uh, dibutyl uh, oxalate, castor oil, etc., are called as uh, plasticizers. Now, next one, fillers are extenders. So, fillers and extenders means uh, uh, when we are adding the fillers uh, in the molding process, the cost of that material will be reduced. So, that purpose we are using the fillers. So, these additives either the uh, either acts as the extenders. And reduce the cost of uh, and reduce the cost of final compounds. Uh, uh, they improve the mechanical property of plastics. They improve the uh, mechanical property of the plastics. Uh, average uh, particle size uh, and uh, size uh, distribution 
chemical nature uh, of the uh, surface and the presence of uh, metal ions impurity so when we are adding the uh, you see when we are adding when we are adding the fillers uh, the cost of that one will be reduced cost of uh, polymer compound will be reduced so these uh, fillers are the main uh, fillers are the uh, chalk and clay and the glass fibers this which one so these uh, fillers are example for that one is uh, cellulose fillers cellulose fillers and the chalk and uh, clay chalk and clay and one more is glass fibers one more is rubber plastics rubber particles and one more is one more is carbon block one more is carbon block so these all are the fillers when we are adding the fillers to the uh, plastics uh, then the cost of that one will be reduced fillers are generally added to thermoplastics uh, thermo shaping plastics to increase the elasticity and the crack resistance and uh, fillers improve their uh, thermal stability strength uh, non combustibility water resistance electrical insulation property and external appearance and uh, that fillers are the mica cotton uh, carbon block graphite uh, barium sulfate etc and also glass fibers so now next one is the dyes or pigments so when when uh, dyes these are added to impart the desired color to the plastics and give the decorative effect decorative dyes or pigment means uh, when we are adding the dyes and uh, pig, uh, dyes or pigments uh, in the molding process that will show the desired color to the plastics to give the decorative effect and uh, suppose uh, we are adding the lead chromate yellow color ferrocyanide that is in blue color so to the, in the molding process we are adding the lead chromate then uh, that will show the yellow color ferrocyanide that is in uh, that will show the blue color stabilizers so these stabilizers are uh, which show the stability or uh, good mechanical or thermal stability of the uh, pl uh, plastics stabilizers are used to improve the thermal stability of plastics and uh, uh, that is uh, pvc at molding temperature pvc undergoes decomposition and uh, decoloration so during their molding stabilizers are added so when on uh, the molding process pvc undergo decomposition and decoloration so this decoloration and decomposition we can be avoid by adding the stabilizers so that are bitlet and uh, lead chromate etc bitlet are lead chromate etc these all are the stabilizers my like coloring properties so which are the when we are adding the color uh, color uh, colors that means suppose we are adding the hdso board that will show the red color and when we are adding the potassium chromate that is in yellow color so coloring materials added in the uh, compounding of plastics organic uh, dye stuffs and inorganic pigments are used uh, as a color materials so that uh, they give bright transparent uh, colors for example carbon black black color and uh, uh, anthraquinone yellow and uh, uh, yellow so these all are the colorants so which show the uh color bright color or transparent colors so for that purpose we are adding the colorants now what what is the uh, what is the accelerators so which uh, accelerator vulcanization uh, vulcanization of rubber by sulfur elasticity but it takes uh, hours uh, when sulfur is used alone even at high temperature hence uh, and so we are adding the accelerators or catalyst to the uh, compounding of plastics then they will show their properties anti accidents anti accidents means which prevent the oxidation and uh, fire retardants fire retardants which prevents from fire so that are called as fire retardants so fire retardants are uh, anti accidents uh, anti accidents uh, uh, heat stabilizers uh, to they prevent the thermal degradation and uh, at high temperatures uh, during the processing that they prevent the molecular weight of the uh, mate and the reduction takes place so these all are the uh, compounding of plastics so compounding of plastics are main the compounding of plastics are resins plasticizers 
fillers, pigments, colorants, stabilizers, antioxidants, fire retardants, uh, accelerators, and uh, lubricant. Which show the uh, uh, lubricant when we are adding the lubricant uh, for uh, smooth cup? Suppose you see, so this bottle is there, na? Like you see the bottle. So to the bottle and the molding process, when we are adding the lubricant, uh, then that will looks like shine and uh, looks like uh, decorative. Okay, like that purpose we are adding the uh, lubricants. Like uh, vegetable oil or castor oil, etc., we are added to the uh, in the molding process. Then that will uh, looks like shame. Okay, these all are they about the uh, compounding of plastics. Once what you can do, students. Once you read the what are the compounding of plastics, all of you read this one. Ingredients used in compounding of plastics are. Resins, plasticizers, fillers. All of you read the uh, read this uh, compounding of plastics. So these are the uh, compounding of plastics, resins. Resins are two types: thermoplastics and thermo settings. Plasticizers. Plasticizers which show the plasticity and uh, flexibility. So that uh, one more uh, fire retardants are there. Now fire retardants. What are the fire retardants? Uh, example for fire retardants: uh, uh, tribromotolin and antimony oxide. Uh, that are uh, fire retardants. Plasticizers. Tricrease are phenyl dibutyl oxalate castor oil, etc. is the plasticizers. Fillers. 
Pillars improve the thermal stability, strength, non combustibility, water resistance, electrical insulation property, and uh, external appearance. Mica. That example for that fillers are mica, cotton, carbon block, uh, graphite, uh, BAS for etc. Dyes are pigment. These are added impact desired color. Plastics give the decorative uh, the plastics and give the decorative effect. Red chromate. When we are adding the red chromate uh, pigment, that show the yellow color. Ferrous cyanide that is in blue color. Stabilizers improve the thermal stability of plastics. So colorants. Carbon black, black, under uh, quinoa, that is yellow color, colorants. So, this is about the compounding of plastics. Okay. Thank you, students.